When misfortune strikes, history responds with a resonating call to action. Skim the books of history, connect the dots, and find that action is the pattern. When President Theodore Roosevelt lost both his wife and his mother on Valentine's Day, he etched a haunting X into his journal on that date, followed by the words, the light has gone out of my life. He then spent the next several years as a cattle rancher in the Midwest, getting action. He famously said, get action, do things, be sane, don't fritter away your time, create, act, take a place wherever you are and get action. When polio struck FDR, he forced himself into a painful rehabilitation program and eventually became the President of the United States. In his inauguration address, he said, action, and action now. During the dark days of World War II, Winston Churchill signed his correspondence with, action this day. We learned that on the other side of anguish is action. And that's exactly what I'm doing. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's Man and Woman of the Year campaign enables me to get action. The concept is simple. The national chapter area nominates candidates to raise a sublime amount, $1.6 million, to help find a cure for cancer. I became involved with LLF after I was diagnosed with a rare and aggressive form of lymphoma. My boyfriend, Bo, and I immediately set out to make a difference. We rented a pirate boat to hold a fundraiser for LLS. And just two short weeks after my very first chemo, my friends and I could be found dressed as pirates, floating down the Potomac, drinking that night's special, the chemo cocktail, to raise money for LLS to help find a cure. We didn't stop there. We raised almost $10,000 in Light the Night. And my boyfriend and I decided we wanted to make giving core to our lives. So we started a social enterprise called Tours for Humanity, which gives walking tours of Washington, D.C., and donates a portion of our profits to charities fighting ignorance, poverty, and disease, including the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And then this past fall, my grandfather, who was diagnosed with lymphoma only two years before me, passed away. This pushed me over the edge. I need to do more. And that's why this year, as a candidate for Woman of the Year, I set a goal to raise $100,000 to raise money to find a cure. I can't do this alone. I need your help. Please join my team and donate.